Hello everyone, it's D3 here for D3POR, and I am just now getting on to um, recording the third leg of our flight across the United States in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And so we've already done the Denver to uh, Santa Fe. A New Mexico leg, and we've already done the Santa Fe to Phoenix, Arizona leg. And now I'm going to try the longest flight that I've tried so far in Flight Simulator, at least on for this uh, series of flights. I'm going to be going from Phoenix, Arizona up to Sacramento, California. And our total flight time is going to be just over two hours. So that means that the sim time in the simulator is going to be uh, about that much. So I've already actually loaded our, my flight plan into SimBrief. So let me see if I can pull that up here. Uh, okay. So, yep. So here's our flight plan. So currently we're going to be taking off from Phoenix, Arizona at uh, Sky Harbor International Airport. We're going to be flying runway 8, at least according to this plan. Uh, we'll be taking the Zephyr 2 uh, SID, or Standard Instrument Departure. And uh, we'll fly out to uh, just over Presca fly over Kingman, and then turn north. We might be able to see Las Vegas in the distance, uh, but we'll be flying over the Sierra and Nevada Mountains for sure, and then uh, getting up over around Carson City. Uh, might be able to see Carson City from uh from how high how high we will be and i need to check one thing out here really quick i know that we're going to be doing a high altitude flight i think it's at 36,000 feet 32,000 or 36,000 feet i think is what i saw on the on the plan it will be our cruising altitude and yep so with all that being said, let's uh, let's go ahead and get into Microsoft Flight Simulator and fly. See about flying this leg. Hello, everyone. Uh, so here we are at Phoenix, Arizona, Sky Harbor International Airport, and I thought for this flight I would do something. That I haven't done yet, and I am gonna. I am flying the American uh, libraries in this flight. The particular reason why I'm doing the American library in this flight is because American actually, American Airlines actually operates a flight from Phoenix Sky Harbor International to. Uh, to uh, Sacramento, California, and Sacramento International Airport up there. So I thought it'd be kind of nice to, for a change, we're going to use, um, go on an American Airlines flight. So this is going to be American Airlines flight 2940 from Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport up to Sacramento International Airport in Sacramento, California. So, yep, so this time all of the radio callouts that I'll have to hear, they're not going to be D3P0. They're going to be American Airlines 2940. So let's go ahead and head into the cockpit and uh, we'll get things powered up. 
Okay, and so here we are in the cockpit. Um, I Honestly, I wanted to try and make this as realistic as possible, including having traffic come out uh, around, the air, around the aircraft, like having the jetway attached and having um, the pushback truck uh, and having baggage and catering and everything. But unfortunately, for some reason or another, that is not working right now. So uh, I couldn't request it from uh, Phoenix, uh, from Sky Harbor Tower. So we'll just carry on. Um, I don't, come on. Seriously, Mouse? Okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and start our, our checklist here. We're starting the uh, aircraft up, so I'll turn on, uh, and I also quickly just need to apologize. I'm not sure what the heck is going on with uh, OBS and why it is not putting the mouse in the proper, uh, mouse cursor in the proper spot. Um, I'll need to do more research on that and figure out what's going on. But in any case, uh, let's go ahead and get everything powered on. So I'm going to turn on Battery Master 1, Battery Master 2. And we also have external power available, so I'll turn, turn that on. That way I'm not completely draining the batteries. Oh. I forgot one thing that I should have done. Uh, I'm going to have to get into the habit of checking for this, but anytime that you power a vehicle on or before you power your aircraft on, and I think this is pretty much for Airbus and for Boeing and just about any aircraft that you fly in, When you power it up, before you power it up, you want to make sure that the landing gear is down, that the wipers, which are right here, so landing gear lever is in the down position, and the wipers are turned off for both the uh, pilot and the co-pilot. That's the co-pilot's wiper control right there. Uh, because, you know, I know that this is a flight simulator, but it's kind of cool to, to think a bit, a little bit in terms of a real, uh, real airplane. But for one, regardless of if it's a flight simulator, you want to make sure that the gear lever is down before you power anything up. Because if the gear lever is up, uh, the aircraft could try and retract a landing gear while you're on the ground. And with regards to the uh, window wipers, you want to make sure that those are off. Because if those are if those are on, and you have dirt on the windshield or uh, dust on the windshield, those wipers can actually uh, scrape that dust all across the windscreen and uh, and scratch the, the windscreen so alright so we got our battery on we got auxiliary power let's pull the checklist up and make sure I'm doing everything right so battery switches are on external power is on external or engine generators on vault displayed so that is right there I'm actually putting your cursor right on the switch so vault is displayed on that one and the other one the vault message is right there so that's good we're good to go on that Engine bleed air switches. 
Uh, those are okay. APU master switch, that is again right down here. So I'll turn that on. APU start switch is right in front of that. So that's right there. So we'll get that turned on. APU start, wait until available. So, and uh, one thing I am going to try and do, because we are flying across the sea on a CRA. Oh. Okay. Turned on the landing light by accident. Um, one thing I will try and do, because we are flying across the Sierra Nevada Mountains, is I am going to uh, try and remember to look outside a little bit more. I think last flight I was looking more down toward the uh, the instrument panel because I was kind of monitoring the flight. So this way at least you'll we'll see a little bit of outside. All right, so we got the APU started and it's available. So we're going to turn APU bleed switch on, which is right there. And uh, I am running the default Airbus A320 from Asobo. Um, so, trying to get the fly-by wire to work and it's not yet working. Okay, so we got the APU started. Now we're going to turn off the external power. That is right there. We'll turn that off. Tick that. Fuel pumps. That's all of these white lights. Right up here. All of these ones. So there's that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, and that one. All six of those have to be turned on. So we can get fuel, fuel flow from all of the uh, tanks. Okay, and normally we, we do... Uh, let's go ahead and turn the beacon on right now. So the beacon light is right there. And also, before I forget, again, <laughs> seatbelt light is on right there. And right next to it is the no smoking sign. So, before starting engine checklist is complete. So, before I do anything else, I'm going to check the MCDU. And the flight computer. We'll put our flight plan in so it is showing the correct database. We'll go to init and we are flying from, let me pull it all up on my other screen. We are flying from Kilo. Papa, Hotel, X-Ray, and we will be flying to Kilo, uh, Sierra, Mike, Boxtrot. Okay, return. Flight level, I uh, actually clarified this, but let me clarify it again. So yeah, just to clarify, it is flight level 360. Uh, so do put that into the uh, in 
into the flight computer. FL three six zero. Okay, and so we checked our data. We did our, the init. Now we do the flight plan. And actually, before we do the flight plan, part let's tune in to the ATIS. I need to check one thing here. One second. Uh, I knew it. Okay. Okay, we are going to do live weather. Okay. I knew it. Two nine seven eight. Two point one zero. Altimeter two nine or decimal seven eight. ILS runway two six visual runway two five right and ILS runway two five left in use. Landing and departing runway two six runway two five right and runway two five left. VFR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advice controller on initial contact, you have golf. Okay. Sky Harbor Airport information, golf 21000. Okay, we'll go ahead and contact Phoenix departure. I mean, uh, Phoenix clearance. I have a feeling our departure is going to get changed. Uh, departure. But I'm going to go ahead and input the flight plan anyway. So let's do. I'm looking for runway 8, and we're taking the Zephyr 2. Departure. Transitioning at. Arsta Romeo Romeo Sierra Tango Alpha That's uh, actually according to our flight plan And then We're going Okay So from Zephyr to Okay. So from Arsta we are going to go direct to Bravo Tango Yankee Insert Okay, and then from 
Bravo Tango Yankee, we are going direct to you. Kilo Echo. November, November Oscar. Not in database. Okay. Airway. To Kinmo direct. And then from there we go to Donner, Delta, Oscar, November, November, Romeo. Uh, they're both the same. Okay. And we'll do an insert on that. Okay, and then from here we go destination, arrival. We are gonna try for ILS runway 17 left. And we are going to go on the slammer or slimmer or a star and you know bias. Okay, no discontinuities. So let's go ahead and request IFR clearance. Phoenix clearance delivery AAL 2940 ready to copy IFR clearance to capital. AAL 2940 is cleared to capital airport as filed. Take off runway 26 climb and maintain 11,000 feet. Departure frequency is 124.1 clock 7271. Okay. So AAL 2940 cleared to Capital Airport as filed. Take off runway 26 climb and maintain 11,000 feet. Departure on 124.1 squawk 7271. AAL 2940 readback is correct. Contact ground on 119.75 when ready to taxi. Okay, I thought it would recognize AAL as American Airlines, but it, my bad on that, so sorry. Okay, so we are actually going to take off on runway 26, so I need to... Go here. Uh, departure. Runway two six and on the zipper two. Insert. Uh, that changed her. Shouldn't have changed her. Flight plan after that, so 
Okay, everything's looking good. On that, and we are in the contact ground on 119.75. And Let's uh let's do this here. Let's go live on that. Sorry, I gotta do a couple items here. So we're actually and first of all if I didn't mention this I I do apologize, but we are right now on um at the same gate that we ended up at on the last flight. So I am just double checking. And the flight plan. MSFS. Had us centered there for a second. Okay, that's all right. So I'm gonna switch you guys really quick to Navigraph. Let me bring that up, and I'm gonna bring it up on my side. So here we are, right here. We're at gate uh, 36. Um, I don't remember what parking stand, uh, what, uh, gate number that it actually is. Might actually just be 36. Oh, let's go ahead and request our taxi. Phoenix ground AAL 2940 with golf ready to taxi IFR. AAL 2940 taxi to Ansel short of runway. Okay, let me acknowledge it here really quick. Taxi to and hold short runway 26 using taxiway Kilo Charlie Charlie 11 Bravo Bravo 13 AAL 2940. What the heck is Kilo? Okay, Kilo must be somewhere right around here because Charlie is right here. So go Charlie, the Charlie 11. Oh, okay, I see what runway we're, we're going out of. Okay, that, make, that makes sense. Kilo Charlie Bravo, then to Bravo 13, or 13, and then runway 26. Okay. Alrighty, go ahead and shut that, and we will get back in the cockpit. And we'll see if we can get a pushback requested. Phoenix ground, AAL 2940 requesting pushback. Okay, there, you just barely saw the tug. Okay, we'll remove the parking brake. Here we go. Well, 
was a little bit of activity with uh, people around here, with uh, players. Uh, one guy actually, oh, there's a player right there. Looks like he's lined up for that runway also. So it's to left, so I will want him to steer the aircraft to the right. Probably right now is good. Phoenix ground, AAL 290 40 requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the right. AAL 290 40, your request has been transmitted to the operator. Phoenix Ground AAL 2940 requesting the end of pushback. AAL 2940 request to end pushback received. Okay, let me see how we're doing here. Okay. Alright, we're good. Okay, now, uh, Seriously, Mouse? Where are you? I am not seeing my mouse anywhere. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so now we are set. Strobe's on. Yeah. Set lights for taxi. And... Okay. We are ready to... for the engine start checklist. Okay, thrust levers to idle. Let me actually get my... thrust master up here. It'll take me a second. Okay. Uh, nope, 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 nope. No creeping. No creeping. You need to be all the way down. Okay, thrust lever is at the idle detente. <laughs> Excuse me. Engine mode selector to ignition start. Uh, is right there. So we'll flip that to start. Engine master 2 to on. Start on that. Engine two is stable. Engine one, um, master, engine one master on.
going good. Exhaust gas temperature is going up. Engine two is stable. Or engine one is stable. Okay. Starting che engine checklist is complete. Start the after starting engine checklist. So APU bleed off. APU master switch is off. And engine mode selector switch to normal. Okay, after starting checklist is completed. All right. Let's uh let's go ahead and get out of here. Clear on the right, or on the left. Clear on the right. Okay. So the progressive taxi actually has, actually for whatever reason it switched, but I have a uh, Navigraph up on my other screen along with the uh, airport uh, diagram. There we go. Actually, you know what? I am right now going to have to autopilot take over because I only got to the flight plan part on this. I have a little bit of extra information to put in, like a performance. We'll do flaps one. Take off and radios are pretty much okay. All right, and I think actually for this version of the Airbus A320, we are set. Got our altimeter set properly. We can just kind of enjoy the ride out to the Oh that yeah, okay. I got, I was like, why are you turning this soon? I thought it was Charlie one three, but no, it's, it, she's right. It's actually Charlie one one. Um, you can't see her, but yeah, I mean, you can't see her in this position, uh, <laughs> or from uh, this point of view. But, uh, if you look from the outside cockpit view, you'll see, I actually have a female cobalt co-pilot because I figured why not they're not bad pilots in fact actually I could probably show you on the uh, or nope not the checklist
Yep. So that's me on the uh, on the left. No. <laughs> ah, wrong one. That's me on the right. That's her on the left. So, all right, let's get switched back. Now, I know normally the, uh, captain is one that controls the aircraft on the ground. Okay, she has set the brake, which is good. Alright, I am going to switch our control off. And we are going to go ahead and tune into tower. And actually, one thing I will do. Phoenix Tower AAL 2940 at runway 26 ready for departure IFR to capital. AAL 2940 altimeter 29 or decimal 78 wind 240 at 8. Cleared for takeoff runway 26. Cleared for takeoff runway 26 AAL 2940. I'm just wondering. Travel to. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to be AAL 2940 for the rest of this flight, <clears throat> unfortunately. I'll try and pick and correct that next time. But in the meantime, we will get on to the... I forgot some things. Uh, sorry, it's been been a bit of a vacation for me. Um, so I forgot that. Okay, so our flight today for takeoff. Yeah, air disasters would have fun with me. And the Smithsonian Channel and stuff. All right, so V1 is 100 is 136 knots. V2 will be 100 or VR will be 143 knots. V2 is 147 knots. So uh, basically means that at 136 knots, I will not be able to stop the aircraft. I will be committed to fly. So let's go ahead, get centered on the runway, since now I also have my, uh, my landing lights on, which I should have had on. Behind me is probably calling me a big butt. Oops, center my view. Oh, 
I'm a little off center. Okay. Configuration checklist. Okay, I'm at flaps one. And it all looks good. So I'm holding the brake. Throttle is armed. Here we go. I am not centered. So. Speed is alive. One thirty B one rotate. Positive rate of climb. Gear up. KAL two nine or four zero contact Phoenix departure on one two four decimal one. One two four decimal one AAL two nine or four zero. Phoenix departure AAL two nine or four zero is at two thousand eight hundred feet, climbing eleven thousand feet. AAL two nine or four zero Phoenix departure altimeter two nine or decimal seven eight continue as planned. Okay. Reducing throttle to climb. Check one thing here really quick. Climbing to eleven thousand. So verify one item on OBS. I got our progress up. OBS is definitely tracking us. Um, <sighs> my apologies. Uh, also, I tried to get the points of interest turned on but I'm not sure that they are loaded right now. So, kind of a bit of a downer on that, but anyway. So we are right now over Phoenix. leg AL contact Albuquerque Center on 125.4 125.4 for American 2940 125.4 for AAL 2940 Albuquerque Center AAL 2940 is passing 10,400 feet, climbing 11,000 feet. AAL 
Actually, I'm over, and I am actually over 10,000 feet, so I can go lights off on that, retract the landing lights, and turn the nose light off. It is a nice day out for flying. I mean, this right now, when I started this, I was not in live weather. Um, and I caught that when I, um, how I caught that I was not in live weather is uh, I saw the barometer reading. It was reading two niner niner, or two niner dot niner two. And that's uh, the barometer reading. That's a gen generic barometer reading for clear skies. So. Uh, and that's how I knew that it was not correct. I wanted live. I like live weather. It, even though this is a uh, medium. Um, this is at a medium uh, quality for graphics. The clouds still look pretty neat, and they look they look better if it's representative of what the actual weather is like out outside. So. Sun City over there. We're flying over right now. And uh, we are over northern Phoenix already. the barometer and I am checking on Checking to see if I can request 36,000.
Okay, we are over Pleasant Valley. And... Oh. Lap zero. I forgot about that. We got flaps one going on there. And uh, we don't need that anymore. Okay. Looks like we got some weather ahead, actually. And uh, we can kind of see it from here. These clouds. Uh, we're probably going to fly right through them. Uh, for once, I might... Where's the anti-ice? As warm as it is on the ground, it is actually frigid outside right now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the wing anti-ice for a moment. And... Look like big, big, puffy mush er, marshmallows, marshmallows, but uh, they're water vapor. That's probably super chilled. And what happens with uh, water vapor? Actually, I need the weather radar on. So that's the weather radar. Uh, what happens when you fly through super chilled mu uh, marshmallows is that uh, any debris, in, uh, any uh, foreign debris, the water vapor will freeze to, will immediately become ice. And uh, You can't really see it from here, but I do know it is here right on the front of the airplane, right around here. There is actually a um, a probe that is there so that pilots can look out the front windshield or windscreen and they can see if there's ice, if there's ice forming up. Um, I'm going to request, let's see here, I'm going to bring up Sim Toolkit here. Okay. So this is Sim Toolkit. And hopefully you're seeing what I'm seeing. So we are actually right here. We're at this uh, Zephyr. Actually, we're not. We're right here. So there's a thunderstorm actually right now by the Mesa um, waypoint. Um... So I might see if we can request to get on top of that. So I'm going to see how I can get to flight level 3600. So 
So we will go... First of all, to there. And then I go here. Uh, I need to request... See, we're at 14,000 feet, so I need to go 12,000 feet more. Albuquerque Center AAL 2940. Request flight level 240. AAL 2940 climb and maintain flight level 220. Expect flight level 240. Climb and maintain flight level 220. Expect flight level 240. AAL 2940. So I got us up going up to uh, 24,000 feet. I always think it's cool to... Once you get above the uh, clouds, it's like you're flying in a whole, whole new world. Yep, there's the thunderstorms. The marshmallows are not happy. Yeah, that's the, uh, actually if I had seen this earlier, I probably would have requested the uh, altitude increase earlier. Which I should have, because it's not necessarily a good idea for an airplane to fly through a thunderstorm. Usually a pretty bad idea. Watching the altitude right now. We got about 2,500 feet left before we hit the temporary um, altitude restriction. I forgot to put on our cost index, but. That's all right.
right, you can see. How we're doing time wise. Climb and maintain flight level 240. Climb and maintain flight level 240 AAL 29040. Yeah. Oh, Okay, we just actually passed our transition altitude. And we are actually at 18,000 feet, or above 18,000 feet. So we're gonna go standard on the altimeter. Uh, you know what? See, I'm looking ahead on... Uh, Oh wow, actually yeah, we're gonna, we should be able to see Las Vegas. Uh, we're gonna be flying right near it. And, uh, well, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we got a bit of uh, clouds under us. At least it's not raining right now in Las Vegas. Alright, let's request our next leap. Okay, nine. Albuquerque Center AAL 2940. Request flight level 340. AL-290, 4 climb, and maintain flight level 340. Climb, and maintain flight level 340, AAL-2940. AL-290, 4 contact Los Angeles Center on 134.65. 134.65 AAL-2940. Los Angeles Center. AL two nine or four zero is passing flight level two four zero, climbing flight level three four zero. AL two nine or four zero, Los Angeles Center, continue to Bravo Tango Yankee as planned. Okay, that I will do.
Yep. So, the reason I'm looking off in this direction is, uh, supposedly, supposedly, Las Vegas is somewhere right around there. <clears throat> it's just, it's going to be off to our right. Uh, I'm not sure how visible it will be. Okay, so we look off this way. Let's see if we can spot it. What is it with your mouse? Come on. This is so annoying when you do this, you just randomly cut out. Anyway. Ah, oh, there we go. So just off to our right and below us is uh, Kingman. We're probably actually too high up to, to really see down. Right. See down and uh, see it. That's Kingman, Arizona. Got a bunch of planes there. That is probably going to be... I mean, I can't really tell for sure, but that might actually be the area right around, right around Las Vegas. Because uh, we are going to be flying very close to Las Vegas.
actually. I just took a look at Navigraph. I can't get any... I can't zoom in any more than what it already is. But that is Las Vegas, uh, Nevada, right in front of us. So, they're all probably flying in for the weekend to enjoy 4th of July at, on the Strip. I'm at 34,000. Uh, let's take that wrench down. Generic 8 Kilo Romeo contact Los Angeles Center on 124.625. Okay, bag. 124.625 for generic 8 Kilo Romeo. Okay. Yep, there it is. It's showing up on uh, on this display screen. Kilo Lima Alpha Sierra. That is uh, Las Vegas International. Let's see. Let's get an exterior shot here. Sure, really quick. Going to one two four decimal six two five AAL two nine or four zero. Los Angeles Center AAL two nine or four zero is passing flight level three one five, climbing flight level three four zero. AAL two nine or four zero Los Angeles Center, continue to Bravo Tango Yankee as planned. Hey, how to do that really quick? Through the clouds, sir. That is...
Yep, you can barely see why it's right by uh, Ben Jetty. Those are some of the airport lights for uh, right there. You probably can't see the whole city right now just because of uh, all the cloud cover. Oh wait, never mind. You can see the whole city. Oh, there's the airport actually, right there. Now it's getting unclear. Um, but yeah, this uh, that's Las Vegas. Uh, the Strip. We're probably too far away to, for everything to render because, you know, we're right now about six miles up above the ground or, or above sea level. But the strip would be right around there, right where I'm looking. So there's Las Vegas. Inside here, really quick, and I'm going to take a look at our flight paths. I'll be due to Sim Toolkit. Turn off the auto, follow me, and you know what, for right now I can, oh, did I, for right now I think I can turn off the uh, anti-ice, because those are on, those are on, and they, they kind of reduce, um, In a way, they do reduce the uh, engine performance because they uh, they pull from the engine. And uh, even though I see that it looks like there is some uh, storms out ahead of us, it's not until we get around the... Uh, Three one mile southwest. Descend and maintain seven thousand feet. Expect vectors visual runway eight right approach. Generic respond. Now we go up. 2,000 more P, or we will be... Los Angeles Center AAL 2940. Request flight level 360. AAL 2940, climb and maintain flight level 360. Climb and maintain flight level 360, AAL 2940. Okay. That's our cruising altitude. Looks like we might have some weather as we're approaching um, Sacramento. Uh, so I'll 
flip it over to uh, Simbrief here. And I can show you once I get in, because then it will... Should actually update. So this is the approach, our flight path right now, or the approach to um, the Sacramento, this blue line. And looks like we'll be fl potentially flying through a thunderstorm just east of, uh, of Sacramento. So... Other than that, it's uh, clear skies. some restricted airspace just to our north we have the Nevada test and training range Transition you back onto that. Sorry about that. Yeah, it looks like we should be there in about uh, 38 minutes. Probably gonna get uh, vectored onto a different runway. Hopefully, we get one seven left ILS approach. Should probably ought to make sure I got the approach plate. Or ILS one seven left. This will be cat two.
Okay. is still squeaky. Check. Here we go, we're making our turn here. about 32 miles out, or 32 minutes out. to my co-pilot. I will be right back. Uh, I'm just going to step out for a moment. Yeah, 
Yeah, unfortunately I gotta visit the little pilot's room, so I'll be right back.
Gabriel, 2-Niner, 40 contact, Oakland Center, on 128 decimal 8. Going to 128 decimal 8 A80, 2-Niner, 40. Oakland Center, EAL, 2-Niner, 40, flight level 360. AAL, 2-Niner, 40, Oakland Center, continue to end out as planned. Okay, I'm back. And just gonna go ahead and take her off. And been kind of sitting back monitoring for a little bit. Yeah, so we're all actually over the Sierra Nevada Mountains right now. For sure. Let's see. I'm just going to see what the difference is in between our flight path on Sim Brief and, or not the Sim Brief. We might actually be able to see Reno. Uh, yeah, should be. I'm guessing right around there. I mean, there's a a, a uh, pilot right there. Or a flight going on right there. So, yeah, that, that's possibly Reno right there. About 17 minutes away. How far away am I from my actual next waypoint? Just 
trying to figure out when I will need to start my descent. <laughs> Probably couldn't hurt to get down closer. Yeah, I think I'll, uh... Make some decisions here. Come on, mouse. Seriously? I don't know what the heck goes on with you. Yeah, so that's, uh... Taking a look here on Navigraph, I think that is, uh, Reno. I think Reno is actually just on the uh, other side, right of the, the other side of this support pylon right here. Come on, us. Oh, heck yeah. Let's go ahead and request it. Oakland Center AAL 2940. Request flight level 260. AAL 2940 descend and maintain flight level 260. 
Descend and maintain flight level 260AAL29040. Engines are spooling down, as they should. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we're, I'm going to go ahead and start my descent. You mouse. Do you have a dirty lens? Oh, I think it's a communications issue. Okay. Might be a battery issue, too. Yeah, so that is Reno right over there. Reno, Nevada. Something's going on with this mouse.
127 decimal nine or five for American two nine four zero. Going to one two seven decimal nine or five AAL two nine or four zero. Oakland Center AAL two nine or four zero flight level two six zero. AAL two nine or four zero Oakland Center continue to work go as planned. Let's see. Reno. Well, there's a city right there. Yeah, it's probably Reno right there. At some point in time, I'll see if I can get the, uh, the points of interest for the United States downloaded. Um... I think I had to remove them initially because I didn't, I don't always need them. And they take up, sp and uh, that information kind of takes up space um, on my computer. So looks like they're getting some rain, at least in the simulator. Someone is. I gotta get down about 4,000 feet. You are nine or four miles northeast. Maintain present heading in altitude. Expect vectors visual runway three five right approach. Okay. Maintain present heading in altitude. Expect vectors visual runway three five right approach AAL two nine or four zero. Okay. Maintain flight level 180 AAL 29040. AAL 29040 descend and maintain 8,000 feet. Descend and maintain 8,000 feet AAL 29040. AAL 29040 descend and maintain 9,000 feet. Descend and maintain 9,000 feet AAL. There we go. Four zero. Wingspan two six climb and maintain one zero thousand feet. Three five AAL right. Two four zero descend and maintain eight thousand four hundred feet. Descend and maintain eight thousand four hundred feet AAL two nine or four zero. Three five right. Okay.
Good up, Yankee. Okay. You get this switched here. Getting everything that I possibly will need set up. So I'm going, coming on, uh, they changed it probably for the weather, uh, but they got me switched over to 3.5 right, so. Technically the same runway, um, just they want me coming the opposite direction. Actually, uh... Windspan 26 traffic is 10 o'clock, 3 miles at 12,800 feet generic. Report them in sight. Or now, or generic now, or now. Lima Romeo traffic is 3 o'clock, 3 miles at 9,500 feet generic. Report them in sight. It's kind of odd. AAL 29 or 40 contact Oakland Center on 119 or decibel 75. 119er decimal 75 for American 2940. 119er decimal 75 for AAL 2940. Oakland Center AAL 2940 is at 16,000 feet descending 8,400 feet. AAL 2940 Oakland Center altimeter 30 decimal 15 continue as planned. Zero decimal one five. Okay. Oakland Center generic November nine zero four Lima Romeo is passing twelve thousand eight hundred feet descending one zero thousand feet. Generic November nine zero four Lima Romeo Oakland Center altimeter tree zero decimal one five continue as planned. Generic for Lima Romeo traffic is eight o'clock two miles at one zero thousand one hundred feet. Generic. Report them in sight. <laughs> We'll see how much they flip us. Oakland Center, Wingspan 2, 610,000 feet. <laughs> Wingspan 2, 6, Oakland Center, altimeter 30, decimal 1, flight continue as planned. Generic 4, Lima Romeo traffic in sight. United 5, 3, and you are 4, 5 miles northeast. Descend and maintain 4,600 feet. Expect ILS runway 17 left approach via Tenko transition. Clear to Tenko. Why am I being? Wingspan 26 traffic is 3 o'clock, 3 miles at 13,100 feet generic. Report them in sight. You know what? That's. That's honestly. Are we flying Wingspan into the same airport? Transition cleared to Tenko United 538. 
Wingspan 26, have the generic in sight. One seven left is actually the very same runway that I will be trying to land on from the opposite direction. So what the heck is going on here, dudes? What's that constraint? Fifteen thousand. Dude, I got a major con major constraint here. I have to be over thirteen thousand feet. I'm at 8,400. Well, on the plus side, it looks like the mountains are well below me. Was that southwest flight? Where are they at? Air less normal. Check my uh, radio. Descend to maintain. You are nine four miles northeast. Maintain present heading and altitude. Expect vectors runway three five right visual. Uh, yeah, you guys need to talk. Um, pick a runway. The AL two nine or four zero traffic is twelve o'clock four miles at eleven thousand one hundred feet generic. Report them in sight. United five three eight traffic is six o'clock four miles at eight thousand two hundred feet Airbus A twenty N. Report them in sight. Yep. Uh, traffic in sight. United 538 have the Airbus A12. AAL 29 or 40 traffic is 12 o'clock 3 miles at 10,800 feet generic. Report them in sight. United 538, you are 35 miles northeast. Descend and maintain 2,700 oh. feet. Expect ILS runway 17 left approach by a Tenko transition. You're flying from Denver. Right on. AAL 29 or 40 have the generic in sight. Descend and maintain 2,700 feet. Expect ILS runway 17 left approach by a Tenko transition. Clear to Tenko United 538. 
know why I don't know. I should. I'm going on the person that I just flew right under. That flight from Denver. That's going on to the ILS uh, runway that I'm trying to get on. You're trying to send me in the exact opposite direction. Actually, what's my airspeed? Uh, airspeed is fine. I might want to go ahead and go flaps one just so I can get ready. Roughly about 208. Still on managed mode. Flaps one.
Maintain present heading and altitude AAL 2940. Tower on 125 decimal 7 American 2554. AAL 2940 Airport is at your 10 o'clock 14 miles. Maintain present heading and altitude report runway in sight. What Maintain runway? Present heading and altitude AAL 2940. AAL 2940, you are 13 miles northeast. Descend and maintain 3,000 feet. Expect ILS runway 17 left approach via Tenko transition. Clear to Tenko. AAL 2940, descend and maintain 1,900 feet. Descend and maintain 1,900 feet. Expect ILS runway 17 left approach via Tenko transition. Clear to Tenko AAL 2940. Uh, no, 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 no. AAL 2940 traffic is 2 o'clock, 4 miles at 2,100 feet generic. Report them in sight. Approach AAL 2940 requesting vector to next waypoint. AAL 2940 continue to derp turning and following heading 265. Continue to derp turning and following heading 265 AAL 2940. AAL 2940 traffic in sight. Okay. This is not the time. Come on. So they got us on uh, ILS 17 left.
by the Tenko transmission uh, trans ah yeah transition the report's actually right off over there somewhere. Let's see if we can do some get-aheads here. Go ahead and arm that. The spoilers. Auto brakes set to medium. Should have had the flight directors on the whole time, but in any case, Supposed to be down to 1900 feet anyway. Okay. system ILS runway 17 left confirmed there's the airport okay I need to get my speed down like now Go ahead and go down. Decimal seven AAL two nine four zero Capital Tower AAL two nine four zero nine miles north inbound ILS runway one seven left approach. United five three eight turn next taxiway. Are you landed? Good. AAL two nine four zero Capital Tower. Altimeter two nine decimal seven two wind two one six at seven. Cleared ILS runway one seven left approach. 
Cleared ILS runway 17 left approach AAL 2940. American 2860, okay. turn next taxiway. Gear down. Come on. United Flight 3, 8, you are not cleared to land. Clear the runway. American 2860, follow the aircraft tone final. Wind 216 at 7. Clear to land runway, 17 right. Arming the approach. Clear to land runway, 17 right, American 2860. United Flight 3, 8 contact ground on 121 decimal 7. AAL 29er 40 wind 217 at 7. Clear to land runway 17 left. Clear to land runway 17 left AAL 29er 40. Going to 121 decimal 7 United 538. Okay, runway's in sight. Gears already down. Capital Tower Southwest, one six eight four one four miles north inbound ILS runway. Oh, my lights are off. Oh well. Southwest one six. I screwed up. Capital Tower. Altimeter two nine or decimal seven seven one one five five at one seven. Cleared ILS. Runway 17 left approach. Clear ILS runway 17 left approach southwest 1684. Four. Come on. Three hundred. You got this. Come on. 160, 50, 40, 30, 20, AAL 29er, 40 contact ground on 121 decimal 7. to one decimal seven AAL two nine four zero. American two eight six zero turn next taxiway. Well, it was on almost perfect landing. If he was landing over there, let's get off the runway here. American two eight six zero exit runway when able. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all right. I did stuff like that too. Um, yeah, flew into uh, Munich, Germany. From uh, I forget where I flew into. AAL 2940 request taxi to the gate. AAL 2940 taxi to gate 8 using taxiway alpha. Okay. Taxiing to gate 8 using taxiway alpha AAL 2940. Okay. Capital ground, 
approved American 2860 taxi to the gate. American 2860 taxi to gate 16 using taxiway Charlie Bravo. Okay. Go ahead and bring the flaps up. Taxi into gate 16 using taxiway Charlie Bravo American 2860. See where we are going here. Where's that United? United five three eight. You flew out from my hometown. Got a southwest flight up there, probably inbound from uh, Salt Lake City. Sorry, dude. Trying to be polite, but... You know, Flight Simulator doesn't really acknowledge it if you're there, or if something is there that you can run over or collide into on the ground, and uh, so it doesn't tell you to stop. And actually, if it does, it's something too late. I guess that United flight, um, I guess they just despawned. It looks like it's all the way. AL two niner four zero hold position caution other traffic. Hold position AL two niner four zero. Give me a little bit more warning. Honestly. Traffic actually departed and you announced it right as I was about to run over him.
I'm holding. Are you are you sure? Roger AAL two nine four zero. Oh, 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 too much, too much, too much. Where am I? All right, hold on there. I think, yeah, I think this is it right here. Places will have signage on the Okay. Well, here we are. I'm. I might be wrong <laughs> in this spot, but you know what? We're here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, and I'm just gonna turn on external power. Smack my mouse around so it will respond. At least on the plus side, it responded right when I needed to. Right now, it ain't frickin' doing anything, which is taking me off. Let's go ahead and shut the engines off. And then we'll let Flight Simulator do its thing. One hour and 53 minutes, 14 seconds. From Phoenix to... Uh, at the right airport. Yep. To uh, Capital International, as I understand it, what it's called. Anyway, I'll just let it completely power down. Wrong key. Sorry. Uh, let's see if we can get ground services.
Okay, first of all. Capital ground AAL 2940, could you please connect the jetway to the aircraft? AAL 2940, the jetway is going to be connected. Okay. That's that. And Capital we'll Ground AAL two nine four zero. Could you please send the baggage? AAL two nine four zero. We don't know where the baggage is. <laughs> they lost it. Already. Capital Ground AAL two nine four zero. Could you please send the baggage? AAL two nine four zero. Baggage is on the way. Capital Ground AAL 2940, could you please send the catering truck? Yeah, I'm hungry. AAL 2940, we can't send your catering truck. Please retry later. Capital Ground AAL 2940, could you please send the catering truck? There we go. Well, it looks a little bit better. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for flying uh, D-3PO Air and for flying American Airlines Flight 2940. Non-stop service from Phoenix uh, Sky Harbor International Airport to, um, to Sacramento, California. Alright. Capital International. I do appreciate your patience with us today, and I hope you have uh, have a great day. All right. And I look forward to our next flight, which I believe is going to be to Portland, Oregon. So it should be a, a kind of a quick flight. Until then, guys, all have a great day. All right. Bye.